Hey, Jack Roberts, Executive Editor with Overdrive and CCJ Magazine, and I'm here with Henry Albert, Owner Operator with Albert Transport out of Mooresville, North Carolina. And we're leaving Tuscaloosa, Alabama today, chasing sun on I-20, headed to Dallas to the Great American Truck Show. And I'm here to see if 10 miles per gallon is actually possible with this new Cascadia Evolution tractor. And Henry, you're having good results with this tractor, and you want to show me that today, right? Yes, I'm looking forward to showing you. It's 10 miles per gallon. It's got to be a regular expected fill-up now. Um, paying attention to all the little things like bumper closures, moving antennas, all the way through the truck, trailer, the whole combination, 6x2, the new engine, PT12 transmission, all add up that's made 10 miles of the gallon a reality. So this is really a combination of new technology and a super, super aero truck. Uh, did you work real closely with Freightliner to kind of get what you wanted out of this package? Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, and it sort of stemmed from the previous two trucks, so it literally is an evolution how we got there. Uh, the evolution of the tractor is followed by even paying attention to everything on the trailer, all the way back to the from the nose cone to the trailer tail, even little details like the license plate not being mounted below the tail light. Sure, sure. So every little piece of Al adds up to. So ten, you're sort of telling me that 10 miles per gallon now is not something you get every now and then. That's sort of your new standard. Is that a fair statement? Right now, out of 60 some Phillips, I have 18 Phillips in excess of 10 miles per gallon. 26 Phillips in the 9 to 10 category. 12 in the 8 to 9 category, and only two that fell below that. One was the very first load this truck took out, which was into Hurricane Sandy. Mm -hmm. The other one was fighting three days of snowstorms, and that was still a 775 and a 7.8, so wasn't that far from 8 yet. So the data's backing up what you're finding. Absolutely. And I guess final point, we're going to verify all this today, but uh, it, it's worth pointing out, if you're an owner-operator or a fleet, all that money drops straight to the bottom line, doesn't it? Sure does. It actually can make it a profit center with what fuel surcharge is paying, and I have very few empty miles because I generally load and reload actually at the same dock. Uh, my fuel cost has been running 15 to 20 cents a mile below what my fuel cost is. So literally it's like making another 20 cents a mile. Wow. Sounds really cool. Why don't we hit the road? We got a little spiky weather, but we should have a good drive today and let's see what happens out there. Looking forward to it. Cheers.